Hey guys, Ilya here, and I want to talk about the new GameMage 1.2. This is really a new plugin in many ways. We had to rewrite a lot, but it works much better now. So the first thing is the performance. It was really improved, and GameMage now uses much less CPU, much less memory. You can use much more copies of GameMage over your project, and it will open faster, and overall the experience is much better. The right-click menu is much shorter now. The global preferences are available here. For example, number of groups or look and feel and what to do with new instances. And the options for the current instance are located here. They are local options. You can customize this instance, save it as default. The default settings are here in this global menu for new instances. Also, there is a new button, the new icon for the scaling. The previous icon was a bit confusing because some people thought it was a search icon. If you want to save these uh, scaling settings as default, you just click on this presets menu or here or here and save as user default. Also, you can right click on this scale icon and see the previous opacity icon. Many users asked us to make a delta button. Now you can display this delta button and you can easily switch between listen before or delta or back to the after signal. But if you think it takes too much space, you can still hide the delta, especially if you don't use it too often, and use shift click to temporarily toggle delta when you need it. When you listen to before, or after or delta, the signal now is cross-faded, so you don't get clicks, especially when using some reverbs after gain match. Another user request was to display the link icon in the before instance, because if you close this instance, you can forget that they are linked. Now you can see that this instance is linked to the after and you can unlink it over here as well. So just a little tiny improvement so that you don't forget they are linked. As you know, the more groups you use, a bit more CPU and memory uh, gain mesh uses. So if you don't really need a lot of groups, uh, I suggest you use 8 groups and the 8 groups has a slightly bigger menu. Another request was to make delay detection available even when you are not listening to before. So now you can use this option, keep delay visible, and this delay icon will be there even when you're not listening to before. You can save it as default. So all instances in the after mode will have this uh, delay icon. You can detect delay automatically when you insert the new after instance, for example. Uh, let me save this as default and show you an example. We insert the gain match before, we copy it to after, and the new instance auto detected delay. So now you can listen to before, and the before can also be auto adjusted automatically. All these settings are here for new instances, auto detect delay for new after and auto enable auto for listen gain. So now they can be auto enabled and you can just save some clicks and everything can be ready for you when you insert the gain match on your channel. In the previous version you had to select the correct delay buffer, now it is calculated automatically and it performs much better and it requires less CPU, so this is really great overall. Also when you detect delay, the polarity of the signal is also detected. Here we have a plugin that flips the polarity, let's detect it. And here you can have this new indicator of the polarity. If the polarity wasn't flipped, this is gray, if the polarity is flipped, this is red, you can also flip it by hand, but generally you can just hide it and forget about it, just know that it is now detected and it now works much better when you use the delta mode. By the way, there was a request to display this delay value in milliseconds or bits, and now if you right click, you can display this value in milliseconds, sometimes it's useful, or in bits, some creative uses, if you're using some plugins that create delays depending on the BPM of your project. A lot of improvements were done for the auto mode. You can now right-click on the auto and choose the adjustment speed. 
from the classic, which uh, is slow, to normal and to fast, and in fast mode it really acts fast. Some users were having troubles when using audio mode and adjusting some plugins in between. You solo a band and you forget that you're in auto mode and auto mode adds a lot of gain, right? Imagine what will happen when you disable this band solo, all this gain should go back to zero and it will be really loud. And now there are several ways that you can fix this thing. The first thing is the ear protection mode. It is enabled by default. Now we have plus 19 decibels of gain. Let's disable this band. And internally it compensates when you have these really big spikes. The plugin will suppress these sudden spikes and slowly get back to normal. Hopefully it will save your ears. Another thing you can do is set this auto limit. Now you can set it separately for positive and negative adjustments. For example, you can set maximum positive gain adjustment to be plus three or plus six. So your auto gain will never, never be over six decibels. This is totally safe now. Also keep in mind that auto is now much faster, so all these three things can help you in such situations. In the previous game match, when you adjust the gain manually, the auto will be disabled. But now if you adjust the gain, then the auto will continue the automatic adjustments. But you can make it just like before, disable auto uh, on manual adjustments, but I think this is just a bit more convenient. Also, the auto mode is preserved when you switch modes. Another user request was to be able to return to zero when there is no sound, so if you need this option, it is also there. Some users, especially using Ableton Live, uh, were confused that pressing this Listen Before button was added to their history in the DAW. This global setting lets you hide or expose uh, these buttons to the DAW. If you hide them, you will not see them in your DAW history or in your automation lane, they will not affect it. Uh, but then you will not be able to use these uh, MIDI assignments to these controls. However, now you can right-click on this button and use MIDI nodes instead of MIDI CC to control these parameters. For example, now I have routed the MIDI signal to this gain match in Cubase. Choose MIDI Learn. Now I press the MIDI button on my controller and now I can enable or disable uh, this using MIDI. The same with this Delta, another button for Delta, so now I can use my MIDI controller for that. And the last thing I want to show you is uh, the pan law. This is basically for Pro Tools and other DAWs that have this mono to stereo options. If you have this mono to stereo configuration, you should choose the correct pan law so the stereo instance will properly calculate and compensate the signal and you will uh, compare it correctly. Also if you use uh, gain match on different tracks, for example one track is mono and you compare it to another track which is stereo, now you can do it properly, it will be totally fine. So guys, I hope you like the new gain match, I really like it, I think this is a great update and a great improvement, pretty stable now uh, and it works much faster and it opens faster and is easy to use. The update is certainly free for all existing users, thank you very much for the support and for all your great suggestions, they are all appreciated. Have a great day, uh, have some fun and great mixes, all the best, till next time, bye bye.